Hey and welcome. Today we are going to solve reverse string interview question. This is one of those type of problems that will teach us a fundamental knowledge about algorithm solving techniques. So let's get into it. First example here. As you can see, we have an array of characters and as a result, we will reverse them in place. And here you can see that the characters of hello is being reversed. O is in the first, H is in the last and anything in between them also reversed. So simple. Here's a second example. This example wants to hint us about two things. First is if they give us any capital case, we still might do our job of reversing them. Like here, the capital H is at the end of the output. The second is if they give us any palindrome string as array of its characters, we still going to ignore this fact and return the output in the reverse as before. So that will not affect us. Now let's see how we are going to solve this. In order to solve this problem, of course you can use some brute force solution or even use recursion like this one here. But as I said, this problem is going to teach us about a really simple technique called two pointers. With help of this technique, we use two different pointers, mostly called P1 and P2, to traverse the array in step one, like in the case of a regular for or while loop, for example. But these two pointers, one of them is going to traverse the array from left and the other one will traverse from right. In each traversal, we will do whatever we were supposed to do and then move on to the next iteration and when those pointers are going to meet each other, the loop condition will be terminated. So about the complexity, I can comment that in fact there will be a bit of improvement to the runtime of the algorithm because now you need half the length of the array to traverse it. But since any constant factors are are ignored while representing the time complexity, it is going to be counted as linear O of n. Also, keep in mind that most of the time you will use this as part of your solution. That was the meat and bone of the technique. That simple. Now let's get back to our main problem. In case of our problem, here's the first example we saw earlier. According to what we discussed about, we will have two pointers that are going to traverse from both ends of the array. And meanwhile, they will switch the characters in each iteration. And as long as they are not colliding with each other, we will keep iterating and switch values from both ends. And if those pointers reach into the same exact point, we will get out of our loop and our job is done. Also note that for an array with even lengths, like this one here, we don't care about the middle character because there's nothing to be switched with. So let's get into the code to implement this solution. First step for us is to define our pointers. First one is going to be at index zero and second one will be initialized at the very last index. Then we need to check if first pointer is not exceeding the index of second pointer. And for that, we need a while loop. Now there it comes the time to switch the values in both pointers locations. For that, we will create a temp variable that will hold whatever we have in the place of the right pointer. Then swap the character in the second pointer's location with the character in the first pointer's location. Now we need to replace the character in the pointer 1's location with the temp reference we had for the character that second pointer was referring to before it's been updated in line 11 here. And finally, we need to take care of the pointers by incrementing the left one and then decrementing the right one. Now if I run this, test cases are passing and if I submit, we are in a good shape here. Now let's jump into the slides for time and space complexity analysis. The time complexity will be O of n divided by two, but as we discussed, we don't care about factors that comes with n. So it will be counted as O of n eventually. For the space complexity, it will be O of one constant since we just only had two pointers. That was it for this video. Thanks for watching and please leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I will put a few more links about different playlists in the description for you to check it out. And finally, hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.